and then just pull up. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is the Proto School call for July 18th, I believe. Um, and we just have a couple of updates on the website front that I wanted to share, and then we can go to anything else that folks have. So on the content development front, we don't have anything new right now, but we're about to have a bunch of videos produced from IPFS Camp. And when that happens, we will have some content that's really relevant to add to both the new resources pages um, that we showed on last week's call and kind of work into some of the material. So there's some good stuff about CIDs and Merkle DAG and all of that jazz um, that we'll grab when the videos come out. So that's what's kind of next on the content development front, but we've been focusing more on sort of the UX front lately. Hi, Diogo. So let's see, Diogo and I finished up the resources page that we showed up, showed off uh, on our call last week, I think. So every tutorial now that you visit, all of the existing ones have a final page that links out to other resources. So that's gonna be a good place for us to capture uh, links to content that doesn't quite fit the format of Proto School. It could be to documentation, it could be to tutorials somewhere else, or articles, or blogs, or it could be like, this is the next Proto School tutorial that makes sense for you. So those pages are all built out, but very open to feedback. If people have specific resources to recommend to add there, feel free to put in an issue or a pull request. Um, and then, the other thing I have started on is trying to improve the linking between docs and Proto School. So um, I've been doing a bunch of linking from, for example, the IPFS files API and DAG API docs to the related tutorials on Proto School. And now I'm taking a look at IPFS.io and JS.IPFS.io, the websites themselves, to see where there are spots that we could just give a good mention. Um, so that's kind of ongoing. I'm sure we'll find a lot more places to do that linking as we go on. And so far what we've been doing is going to those other sites and linking into ProtoSchool, but we'll also need to go back through our material in ProtoSchool and just double check that we have linked out to, you know, when we describe the command, we should be linking to the documentation for that command. So um, that will be coming as well. And then um, on sort of the project management front, Ollie and I were able to migrate our analytics, which we have been using Google for, to Countly instead. So Countly lets you um, keep, keep all of the data yourself instead of having it in Google's hands. But um, especially important, we were able to make, uh, make Countly understand different things in our single page application as pages. So we can see that someone visited the third lesson in the MFS tutorial, for example. So it's gonna allow us to do more detailed tracking and see what content people are enjoying. And there are kind of two things that we need to do moving forward on the analytics before we sort of check that one off our list. One of them is to fix the hosting. Um, we're currently piggybacking off of countly.ipfs.io which is working in general, but if you have, for example, in Safari, there's a box that comes pre-checked that says disable cross-site tracking, and it will feel like cross-site tracking to the browser. So we're kind of migrating that to Proto School itself so that that won't feel like such a sketchy thing to the user agent. Um, and then we are also gonna go through and look at what events, click events, we wanna track. So for example, knowing how often somebody clicks to view the solution will show us that a particular lesson is harder or we might be able to track haven't thought through it thoroughly but we might know like how many times they submitted while they were on a certain page and submitted in correct code or those kinds of things so Diogo and i will be kind of looking at what what events make sense to track so that we can get a handle on how our content is doing what's too hard what's too easy what features people are appreciating that kind of stuff um, so all of that is kind of down the road, but that gives us some metrics to see and a, and a chance to see like where our views are coming from, what the sources are. A lot of the sources, and it's, it's only been enabled for a few days on Countly, but 
a lot of the sources right now are the blog because we had articles about IPFS camp that mentioned the newsletter, uh, th sorry, that mentioned the Proto School tutorial. The newsletter for IPFS is also a place where Proto School often gets mentioned. So we've had some traffic from there. And then, you know, direct stuff. Um, and we'll see more. I think we'll see more from Twitter once we fix the cross site tracking. Because if somebody has an iPhone and puts a link on Twitter, they're going to have that preset that doesn't, they, don't, they won't come through. So um, that's. That's the bulk of the stuff that I've been working on. Diego, is there other stuff that you want to mention? Uh, I'm not sure if you mentioned, because I was on another call, if you mentioned what we were doing with the lesson component. No, go ahead. OK, so basically, well, for for the users, this they can see the work that is currently ongoing. But we're upgrading how the foundations of Proto School. So, we hope in the future to have not only IPFS lessons, but uh, maybe lp 2 p and uh, other type of lessons. So for that, we need to refactor basically how Proto School uh, is built right now. So we can plug, basically make everything pluggable so we can uh, have a different variety of lessons, not only IPFS. So that's been a, a big chunk of the work we have been making and that's, in a, in a good state right now, yeah. And that will enable us to, for example, it will unblock another feature that uh, Terry has been working on, which is multiple choice lessons. So we're hoping to make Proto School a bit more, have a more variety of, of lessons, not only text-only exercises, coding exercises, and now multiple choice exercises, and probably more in the future. Yeah, so, yeah. so both format of lessons and you know, on the back end right now, like we're set up, as Diego mentioned, to create a new IPFS instance. But down the road, if we have content about tools beyond IPFS, we want to make the make the structure more flexible so it'll work with that stuff. So these are kind of first steps there, which is awesome. Um, I don't have new updates on the community front. We talked last week about how great it was to have people at uh, IPFS camp, but Kevin, you weren't with us. Was there anything you wanted to share either about your experience at IPFS camp or stuff that's going on in Hong Kong or the China communities? Uh, actually, uh, the, the camp was a really great experience for us. Uh, I think like the, the learning style, the learning atmosphere, everything. I think all the feedback uh, I received from the Chinese uh, 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 attendees, they are, they are very positive. They're like, I think, uh, I, 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 actually I studied in Canada before, so I get used to this style of learning, right? But then for most of them, they think that uh, it's totally different, the cultural, cultural difference, like, uh, so they really enjoy this kind of style from the camp, and then they want to bring it back to the China so to try to grow the uh, developer community. So I think it was uh, really, really great for us. And then I was lucky enough to uh, be one of the trainers for the elective. And then uh, I think after the elective course, uh, uh, we had a few uh, potential Polo School organizer. Uh, which is, uh, I think, a master from Japan. He just uh, submitted a, a pull request, a uh, uh, request for a Tokyo, Japan uh, photo school. So uh, uh, hopefully uh, we'll get more people joining around, around. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, oh, oh yeah, and then the Falcon team is, uh, was in China uh, in last week. I think uh, uh, Michelle and uh, Colin were here. And then I met them personally, and then we had dinner together. Yeah, and then uh, I think they 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 talk about uh, they draw more attention to, than IPFS because they are coming for Falcon, right? But then uh, they mention about uh, IPFS photo school. I think that's a really really positive uh, for the whole community as well. Like as long as people are getting interest, so people I see. Uh, people are getting more attention on uh, the developing, developing side. Like, like uh, before they were just thinking about Falcon, like earning money, but now they know that de developers and de I mean like uh, the DAPP or developing are very important to the whole ecosystem. So like uh, they have more attention on the other side as well. I think it's a good, 
is a good a good sign as well. Yeah. Awesome. So when you mentioned that uh, that the format, like the learning format at IPFS camp, felt unique to some of the people from China, was that about some of the content being more like interactive or kind of between the attendees as opposed to like here's the instructor here are the people who are learning or what i think inter interact interactive part interactive part is uh one of the most interesting part and then uh the other part is like uh people have more involvement between learning which they have learning instead of just instructor standing there delivering uh, I think there's there's totally different style in China than in uh, from the Western. Yeah. Interesting. Great. That's good feedback. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't think I have anything else today. Did anybody else have something they wanted to talk about in Proto School Land? Okay. Kevin, can you shoot me your email address when you have a minute? Do you still have my card? Oh yes, <laughs> I, I just got my computer these two days. So I, I'll send you an email. Yeah. It wouldn't have been very, very helpful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. So we'll we'll check for email. Cool. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right. Have a lovely day, and I'll I'll see y'all next week. Yeah. See you. Bye. See you. Bye bye.